What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and today I'm gonna to introduce you to the Color Fiber Optics from Light Painting Brushes. So we've got four different colors. We've got pink, blue, purple, and green. So just like all the other light painting brushes, they work with the universal connector. So you're just gonna take it, put it right into the end of the universal connector. It's just a push and pull system. And then you take your flashlight and insert your flashlight right into the opposite end. Turn your flashlight on and that is what's going to illuminate your fiber optic. Is when you shine light through them, the fiber itself is gonna glow whatever color that it is. For instance, this one's pink. And then the end of it is gonna have this really bright uh, white light on the end of it if you're using a white flashlight. It's really like a brighter pink here at the end and then kind of fades off a little bit and then comes to this bright white at the end. And when you're moving this around in front of the camera, all those colors are kind of blending together to create this really cool texture of light. Um, I'm gonna show you a ton of examples here of you know the actual light in motion and then also some of the effects that it creates but as you'll see it's a very unique texture of light that you're not going to get with anything else so this is the pink one here we've got uh purple purple here obviously it's going to shine purple and then white on the ends we've got green i really like the green one personally uh green throughout and then white at the end there and then we've got blue um blue throughout and white on the end Mixing these together is super cool too, as you'll see in the example images. If you use several of these together, they can create some really, really awesome images. Remember, with these fiber optics, it matters the way you hold it. So if you just shine this directly at the camera like that, you're not gonna get a lot of the bluish color. You're just gonna get a lot of the white because the white is gonna burn out the potential blue because you're shining it directly at the camera. If you want more of the blue hue in this case, you can hold it like this and as you're kind of wiggling it around, some of those white little wispy streaks will pop up, but you'll get more of the blue color. The same goes for the pink, the purple, and the, uh, and the green here, same thing. So if you want more of the color, you can hold it down or even hold it up like that. If you want more of the white streaks, you're gonna hold it directly at the camera. And when the magic really happens with these is when you're just waving them around like crazy, like this, you're getting the, the different uh, hues of blue or pink or purple or green and the white that are mixing together to create some really unique textures of light. For light painting, you're gonna get these unexpected results. It really happens a lot with these. Um, you get some really cool textures and just random light streaks and random colors that you would never expect that you're gonna get out of these things and it's, it's really cool. So anyway, these are the new color fiber optics. Absolutely in love with these things and I can't wait to see what you all create using them. I've already seen some absolutely amazing images and uh, so excited to see more. If you have any questions about these or any other light painting related questions, you can put it down in the comment section and I will be sure to get back to you. You can also uh, reach out on Instagram or Facebook, any of those things work. I'll put all those links down below and you can always send an email to the Light Painting Brushes website and we will uh, get back to you there. So until the next video, Get out there and get creative.